We need to break free from the illusions of this world and our own limiting beliefs. Many scientists today put forth that our world exists within a simulation or matrix-like construct, which is sustained by principles of energy, frequency, and consciousness. Things which are not fully understood by modern science, but have been explored in ancient texts and esoteric teachings. Chaos theory, introduced by Henry Poincaré, asserts that deterministic laws of physics, chemistry, and biology shape interactions and patterns within the universe. These patterns indicate a fundamental cause and effect relationship that governs reality, making the universe predictable since its inception. And this raises questions about the nature of free will and whether all human actions are predetermined. The suppression of ancient knowledge, particularly the base 12 mathematics system, has had a profound impact on human consciousness. The base 12 system, which once enabled humanity to experience infinite possibilities and higher states of awareness, was replaced with a base 10 system. It is believed that this change confined human existence to a finite reality, limiting access to higher dimensions and the true nature of existence. Many today believe that human DNA was originally structured as a 12 strand system, allowing individuals to access higher planes of consciousness and multidimensional realities. The transition to a base 10 system altered this structure, reducing humanity's potential and creating a limiting experience of reality. This idea is also subtly linked to the connection with the ancient Egyptian 13 chakra system. But that said, each of the 12 DNA strands is believed to be linked to a dimension of reality and reactivating these strands would reconnect individuals with universal consciousness. This reactivation involves aligning with specific frequencies that restore the original DNA blueprint, unlocking latent abilities and expanding perception. Scalar energy, a fundamental form of potential energy plays a crucial role in this process. It is the underlying force that gives rise to light and sound and can influence DNA, consciousness and energy fields. By harnessing scalar energy, it's possible to transcend physical limitations, heal the body, and interact with different dimensions of existence. Modern technologies, such as scalar wave devices and quantum resonance fields are being developed to realign human consciousness with its original state. These devices aim to restore the base 12 DNA, enabling individuals to communicate with higher intelligence, traverse different dimensions, and experience reality on a universal scale. Ancient civilizations, such as Atlantis and Egypt, had a profound understanding of the principles of scalar energy and frequency manipulation. They used this knowledge to build structures that were not only physical monuments, but also components of a global energy network. The Great Pyramid of Giza, Stonehenge, and other megalithic sites were strategically placed at key points on the Earth's energy grid. These structures acted as nodes that amplified and transmitted scalar energy, influencing human consciousness and maintaining a high frequency on the planet. Thoth, the Atlantean priest king, and author of the Emerald Tablets, described technologies that could harness energy fields to perform functions such as interdimensional communication, healing, and even resurrection. These devices, such as the Osiris Pillar and the Ark of the Covenant, were advanced technologies designed to manipulate energy fields and bridge the gap between dimensions. The fall of Atlantis and the loss of this knowledge resulted in a decline of human consciousness. Many therein believe that the suppression of these teachings and the deliberate shift to a base 10 system limited humanity's access to higher states of being and created a distorted perception of reality. I mean, let's think about it. Why exactly are our time systems set on a base 12 system, but many mathematics are base 10? Though the metric system is convenient, but anyways, you might be wondering, where is all this coming from? You probably recall that last week we were talking a lot about the movie Source, the new Joe Dispenza documentary about healing with thought and meditation and the amazing discoveries and hard science about it all. After that, I was put in contact with Melissa Tittle, the director and producer of the film. Turns out she's a big fan of spirit science. We sat down and had this amazing conversation and we discussed a lot about spreading the message of healing and humanity's awakening to the world even more. Then she shared with me that she previously released another film called Code 12 and asked if I would watch it and just share my thoughts with her. The film is pretty wild. It's a documentary about the awakening we're going through. Everything from a deeper exploration into the fall of Atlantis and their secret sacred geometry patterns and new technologies that are emerging today. So after watching the movie, we connected and I said that I would love to make a video about it and condense some of the main ideas to share with you and encourage you to go and check it out if you're able. It's really cool. Especially if you liked Source, this is right up there in the same vein. She gave me her blessing to make this video, but then she also mentioned that synchronistically, right now and for the next four weeks, they are doing a Code 12 weekend conference series featuring all of these amazing speakers, including Greg Braden, Matias De Stefano, Robert Gilbert, and more. Code 12 also explores deeply sacred geometry, symbols such as concentric circles, the eternal flower of life, 
and the tree of life, which all represent the mathematical structures of reality. These symbols encode knowledge of how energy flows and interacts across different levels of existence. They are visual representations of scalar energy patterns that govern the universe. The presence of these symbols in various cultures and religious teachings suggest a shared origin or common understanding of the nature of reality. By studying these symbols and the knowledge they contain, it's possible to reconnect with the universal field and restore the original base 12 blueprint of human consciousness. This all brings us to our world today. Modern researchers and scientists are beginning to explore the effects of scalar energy, frequency modulation, and DNA activation. Devices such as the Rasha technology and quantum resonance fields are being used to stimulate and restore the base 12 DNA. This reawakening of knowledge is leading to a renewed interest in ancient teachings, as people around the world seek to unlock their full potential and transcend physical limitations. The restoration of the base 12 DNA would enable individuals to experience multi-dimensional realities and communicate telepathically with other beings. The understanding of symbols, energy fields, and consciousness is essential to reclaiming humanity's lost potential. The reactivation of the base 12 DNA involves not just intellectual understanding, but also practical application through meditation, energy work, and the use of advanced technology. It is believed that the suppression of this knowledge was a deliberate effort to limit human potential and control consciousness. By reintroducing this knowledge and restoring the original DNA blueprint, it's possible to create a new reality based on unity, peace, and universal understanding. You might recall from the Spirit Science Human History movie, the concept of a global consciousness grid, similar to a neural network, which suggests that humanity is connected to a larger field of energy and information. This grid can be accessed and influenced through energy work, meditation, and technology, enabling individuals to alter reality on a fundamental level. Ancient structures like the Great Pyramid and Stonehenge were designed to interact with this field and influence human consciousness. These sites served as hubs in an advanced system that spanned the globe, facilitating communication and energy transmission. The presence of concentric circles and sacred geometry elements at these sites indicate a deeper knowledge of the fabric of reality. These symbols encode knowledge of how energy flows and interact across different dimensions of existence. And so the reawakening of base 12 and the restoration of the original DNA blueprint is not just about personal transformation, but the evolution of our entire species. It would lead to a global transformation, restoring balance and harmony on the planet. Modern technologies such as quantum resonance fields and scalar wave devices are being developed to stimulate and restore this ancient understanding. These devices aim to realign human consciousness with its original state, unlocking latent abilities and expanding perception. By integrating ancient knowledge about our mind-body connection through spirituality and modern tech, this allows the human perspective to overcome its current limitations and create a new reality based on unity, peace, and universal understanding. The reactivation of base 12 DNA and the restoration of the original blueprint would allow us to transcend the matrix and be truly free. This is what code 12 is about. The reintroduction of this knowledge through symbols, myth, and teachings could bridge the gap between science and spirituality and lead to a new era of growth, expansion, and profound enlightenment. The journey to recover this knowledge and restore the base 12 system is a major key in achieving higher states of being and realizing our true potential as a species. This transformation would enable all of us to experience reality as an infinite system of growth and expansion free from the limitations of the current construct. If you found any or all of this interesting, please go and check out the full Code 12 documentary. We've really only scratched the surface here. There's so much good information in the film. It's basically a live action spirit science movie. And don't forget, for the next four weeks, they're doing weekend seminars with many of those legendary speakers that I mentioned. Use the link in the description to learn more about the project and jump in. You're gonna love it. There's only one symbol that has haunted me since I was a child. A dream that has turned into an obsession. Something is trying to get us to put the puzzle together. They have laid out codes everywhere to understand it. This goes back centuries. There may have been some type of relic or landmark left behind. The Ark of the Covenant, it functioned as a conduit between Earth and the field. The Zodiac is actually a clock. And right now that clock is broken, we can't read it. The machine we live in, in has its own built-in mechanism to take over. So if you don't take over, it will take over. Eternal or eternal life, that is connected to the base 12 source code. Why was it shifted over to base 10? My goal is to uncover the lost technology, activate the hub, and reset the simulation. 
to make it easier for the human expansion. Of course, if the simulation doesn't get in my way. <laughs>